Hey, what's up? I'm Michael. In this video, I am following instructions in a book to draw Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm actually um, doing it a little bit different than it is in the book. Uh, basically, you start off with a head shape, one circle for the head, and you come down about a half a circle and you draw three circles, and half of that bottom circle is where you go back and round out the bottom of him, basically. Uh, then you draw his legs and his arms and his chin and his upper lip. Um, and he's got these big old uh, wishbone looking forearms and a weird nose. And here I'm drawing his hat and all. Uh, that's his collar, then his feet here. Um, and then he's got these big old weird hands. And you'll see here the the way it's drawn is to hold the pipe so and he has what they call a corn cob pipe I believe and it's just a a pipe with a straight uh, tube going into it I guess you could call it uh, his feet are fairly easy to do and all and you just draw the pipe in like that up under his top lip and that's pretty much it there um, the the little round things on his arms actually are part of his uniform and you'll see how I, I do all of that in just a minute uh, earlier you seen me hold my thumb up to the edge of the or on the pencil and hold the lead up to the size of the circle and what I was doing is showing how that you can actually look at something and tell how far the distance between one thing to another thing is or how big it is uh, it's called a it's sort of it's thumbing it is what I call it uh, and it's something I do a lot especially for if I'm looking at something to draw it uh, and it's, it's really easy you put the top of the lid at the top of what you're looking at and your thumb at the bottom and then you hold it up to your paper and you measure it out that way uh, here I'm going back in and inking in basically and I, I have a Zig Millennium scrapbooking pen. It was like two or three dollars from Walmart, uh, and it the ink does not exactly go on as easy as a Micron, but it's it's basically exactly the same thing. Besides that, uh, at that point, I started using the a brush pen that is just a scrapbooking pen as well, and I also got that one from Walmart for ninety nine cents. Um, now they the same pen they have now for the thing is actually a dual sided uh, brush pen and it's about two dollars but it's about twice as much ink in it as it says so uh, here I'm just erasing my pencil marks and you need to wait until the ink dries to do that and then you just sweep it away with a brush and that's all see you later